Back here in Birmingham, Alabama, Legion Field as the 2022 World Games plays host to flag football for the first time. Just saw the Team USA men grab gold, their fifth straight international gold medal. Now, Team USA women hitting the field, getting set to face off against Team Mexico. This a rematch of the 2021 IFAF World Championships. So a lot on the line here tonight for these two teams. Rhett Lewis, Michael Robinson, Maurice Jones-Drew here with you getting set for the action. But man, have we had some fun in what is the fastest growing sport, not just in the United States, but in the world. It's been huge in youth football as well. Michael Robinson, over 600,000 kids just in the U.S. alone play. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. It's inclusive. It's for everyone. And to me, flag football is, is the foundation of all of football, right? And you want that, that. It's the entry point. That's how people become fans of the game. And this game is growing. Love it. Another two very talented rosters here with Team USA and Team Mexico. Uh, MJD, who you got your eye on in this one? Oh, well, listen, both quarterbacks again here are, are, are phenomenal. And so we're going to see different arm throws, uh, different things. Deanna uh, Flores for Team Mexico. I mean, you want to talk about arm angles, MJD. Well, again, she's smaller, so she can't really throw it over the top. So she has to find different windows to throw from the side. Uh, and the way she runs the offense. Flores, I mean, phenomenal how she is able to manage all the things that go on and kind of take command of it and then score points. And don't. Correct. Uh, look at me when I tell you this. You can look at me. <laughs> she will throw the ball 50 yards down the field. It is. Time now to look at the starting lineup on offense for the United States. Vanita Crouch, number four, Dallas, Texas, quarterback. Joe Overstreet, I am number one. I am from Dallas, and I play wide receiver. Mariah Gearhart, number two, Orlando, Florida. Shanika Comis, Tampa, Florida, wide receiver, number six. I'm Crystal Darius. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a wide receiver. How much do these ladies have left in the tank? Austria gave the United States everything they could handle in the semifinals before the U.S. defense made some big stops in a 36-32 win. Meanwhile, the Mexican team has been on cruise control. They've been fantastic on both sides of the ball here in Birmingham. The defense only allowing 13 points in its last two games, while the offense, led by Flores, has put up 77 the best two teams are left standing. Who will win this gold medal game? The United States or Mexico? You find out when the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL returns. We're back here at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. 2022 World Games flag football women's gold medal game between Team USA and Team Mexico. Rhett Lewis, Michael Robinson, Maurice Jones-Drew here with you in the booth. Let's head down to the field and Stacey Day. Stacey? Rhett, all eyes are on this U.S. quarterback, 41-year-old Vanita Crouch. She is sensational. She's known as the Tom Brady of women's flag football and for very good reason since she became the starter of this team back in 2018. She is 19-0 in world championship competition. She told me that she and her teammates are pioneers of the game, and they are coming out for gold against Mexico today, Rep. 24 passing touchdowns for Vanita Crouch, most on the women's side in these world games. She can absolutely sling it. And if you want a comparison in ages, guys, the 41-year-old GOAT, Vanita Crouch, <laughs> getting set to face off against the Mexican quarterback, Diana Flores, just 24 years old, but has been playing flag MJD since she was eight. We'll talk about the youth movement here. That's it. And that's what it talks. That's how the game has grown, right? Uh, you started eight years old, playing quarterback, throwing the ball. 16 years. How many might you play quarterback? How many yeah. years did you play quarterback? <laughs> I don't know if it was 16. I was right. say, that's yeah. a lot of years, right? <laughs> And she is so much fun to watch. And Team USA, so much talent. Watch out for number one, Joe Overstreet. Watch out for number six, Shanika Adjur-Comis, who leads Team USA in receiving touchdowns with 10. MJD, we got some talent on the field here. Yeah, we definitely do. But Team USA has to be prepared for this Team Mexico defense. Yep. Uh, in the semifinal game, three picks. They're opportunistic. They are able to drive on balls. They play zone sometimes. They play man. And when they go for the pass, they go to get it. They're not going to bat it down. They, they, have, al they have allowed just 32 points total. total. You know how many points Team Italy scored in the men's gold medal game? 36. Exactly. I mean, like, that just gives you a sense. This, this Team Mexico defense, very stout. And it'll be Vanita Crouch on offense first for Team USA. 
Let's see what she's got. High snap, brings it down. Crouch complete. That's Joe Overstreet. Love the hair. A little reminiscent yeah. of OBJ, who she actually looks up to a bit. I love it. I love it. Joanne Overstreet, she's been a baller all over the place. She's a great runner with the football in her hands and has great hands as well. So look out for her. She should have a big game. And what a drive starter there. Get, get your playmaker the ball right away. Team USA started slow in their semifinal matchup against Austria. In fact, trailed by double digits in both halves as Crouch goes deep. Oh, got it Dying. complete. Crystal Daniels into the end zone. Touchdown, Team USA. Flag, though, on the play. Let's see if this touchdown is coming off the board. And it is. Oh. What an explosive play that goes for not. But you know what, Rhett? They now put it out there. Tone now setter. this Mexican defense, they understand. They, they can, these girls can run past us. It's a big-time throw <laughs> of Anita Crouch. Look at her. Look, look where she put this ball and watch Ooh. how Crystal Daniels fights to get vertical, fights to cut off Stacked. the defender. Stacked. Stacked. There Stacked you go. the defender and went and got the ball, Mike. Vanita Crouch telling us after that semifinal win over Austria that watch out for number 69, Crystal Daniels. She is the X Factor. Seen it already. Oh, it's a pick. Early pick by Team Mexico. And do they scoot into the end zone? Yes. Touchdown. Pick six. Team Mexico gets on the board. It's number 88, Shamora Rios. Rios has been making plays yes, all has. game. Did you I'm call it about, him, I, I tried, I tried to. It. Listen, we watched the semifinal game against Panama, and Rios was everywhere. Made this same play here. They, they kind of play this trap coverage where she just reads the quarterback and slides underneath, does a great job of jumping the pick, and then outrunning uh, Crouch to the end zone. And so now... We see Deanna Flores for the first time. Here she is going for one. Look at how she holds that ball and scoots it to the back of the end zone. Oh, but out of bounds. She was looking for Monica Rangel, but couldn't stay in bounds. So it's just 6 nothing Mexico after the pick six. Take a look at this point after. Ah, yeah, just foot on the line again. You see Deanna, yeah. Deanna trying to use every, every yard of the 25-yard. She was with every inch. All right, so now looking for a little redemption here, trying to settle it down. It's Vanita Crouch in the Team USA offense. Stands tall again, looking for Shanika Comis, number six. That pass incomplete. It seems right now Team Mexico is playing that sticky type of defense where they're just all over all the receivers and uh, eligible receivers here for Team USA. And what's happening in is putting doubt. It's putting uh, doubt in what Vanita Crouch is seeing forcing her to have some turnovers. NFL Legends community out here as well, taking in these world games. We're looking at Bobby Taylor, Tony Richardson, some yep. of the greats from the NFL, watching some of the greats here in this flag game. And we've got a safety. We've got a safety as Team USA is facing some early adversity. Number 12 for Team Mexico, Rebecca Londa, with the sack in the end zone. Wow. What a start defense. from the Mexican team. Defense. defense. Getting scores from two big-time defensive plays. That's one of those, usually at the lower levels, Crouch is used to just getting, her, getting around that. She could not get around. And she admitted to us earlier in her career was more mobile, has faced some adversity injury-wise with some knee surgeries and just does not have that same mobility but can still sling it. And now Deanna Flores getting the two points and the offensive possession, just like the NFL game after the safety. So here we go. Now from the 24, they'll have a second down. How about the pace of that floor? It's not panic. There was no rush. Yep. So I'm going to let my girls get open. Once you, you get a comeback or a, a, a receiver coming back to me, nice ball outside, catch and run. One yard for a first down. Remember, four downs to get to midfield in a fresh set of downs, then four more to score. So that an easy first down to the center and an absolute stud throughout these world games. Number three, Sylvia Contreras. And Contreras told us yesterday, she, she, she talked to us about playing the center position and being able to have a multiple ways to go to free herself up. She has tremendous amount of football knowledge and a great catch and run right there. An even better throw by Deanna Flora. And such a quick release, yep. too. She gets it out there, I mean, like a true pro. Very decisive. 
Contreras snapping to Flores. Flores, look at that spot. I mean, that is just a that's dime she is getting with some zip. 24, that's Andrea Del Delgadillo on the reception. As they're now into the no-run zone. Remember, inside the five guys, you cannot hand it off for a run here. It would have to be a forward pass. Ball placement, ball placement, ball placement. That's what you're seeing from Flores. She's putting the ball outside where only her, re her receiver can go and get it, and the defenders kind of help us. Second and goal here for Team Mexico, already up 8-0 on two defensive scores. Flores, oh, has the ball knocked out of her hand or fall out, so that's an incomplete pass. There's really no fumbles no, in no. this game. You lose possession of the ball, it's a dead ball right there, and you retain possession. So I here's Flores. I know just Deanna, that ball pop out. I know she wish she has that play back. So I think she worked the wrong side of the field. She has some open uh, players on the right side of the field. Her eyes went to the left. But that was Crystal Winter with the pressure to kind of speed up that, that process of uh, how you're going to diagnose this defense. Flores on third down. Corner of the end zone. Is it Contreras? Got it. What a route. Touchdown, Team Mexico. Did she put her foot in the ground and separate? Like, Listen, I heard it up I, here. Did you see it? I, it's the opposite of Rhett's favorite route, the Dino. That's just a post corner there where she sticks. Contreras sticks to the post as if she's going and then breaks to the corner and is by herself catching the ball like OBJ Fantastic when he likes to hands. catch those fades and just sit down in front of people. And then she blows a kiss to the, to the, the front. I mean, that is awesome. Going for one here is Team Mexico already up 14-0. Little fake handoff, almost a read option type read option. deal there for Flores, who's being chased, and that ball will fall incomplete, but still. 14-0 lead in the first seven minutes here for Team Mexico. And again, this Mexican defense is just putting a little bit of doubt in the need of uh, reads, right? And so it's having the ball come out a little bit slower, and it's allowing the rush to get there, as we saw in the last in the last play. They say defense wins championship. It happens here, too in uh, flag football. Two running backs up here and a wide receiver. We're talking about defense. <laughs> I'm just telling you, they're, they're, making play, they're making plays, my friend. Let's go. Here's Vanita. First down, and she's got it complete. Nice safe completion to Joanne Overstreet. Overstreet with eight receiving touchdowns for Team USA in these world games. And they, as I mentioned, they were down double digits in both halves against yep. Austria in the semifinal, came back from both of them. And Overstreet said the, the reason? They just didn't want to go home. There you go. The will to win. Vanita Crouch, she needs more of those. Easy throws, right? Easy throws to get this offense going. Second down from the 15. Crouch. Oh, another sack for Team Mexico. And it's Londa once again. Second sack of the day. First went for a safety. Second will force a third down. She is serious. Huh? Hands are quick as a cat here as she's going to get Crouch. Crouch slides, and she's still able to snatch it but while she's moving. Because she had to come to balance. When you come to balance in a, a good football move, you can go any direction. And she was there to pull the flag. Mike was about ready to jump out of the press box. Excuse yeah, me. All right, buddy. Sorry, man. Yeah, man. It's, hey, it's exciting, up. man. <laughs> All right, little misdirection here. We've got a pitch for Team USA. Goes back to Crystal Daniels, although does not go for much. That'll bring up a fourth and six as Team USA tries to get across that midfield line, that 25-yard line, and get a fresh set of downs. I mean, the rusher for, for the Team Mexico is putting all the pressure yep. on Team USA. They're pretty, there's nothing else. The receivers are trying to get open, and they're finding space, but they don't have time to get there because of this rush from Team Mexico. High snap. Crouch able to corral it. Going to take one deep, looking for Comis. Incomplete and a turnover on downs. Team Mexico's defense is rolling. They are rolling and they're taking the fight to the U.S. team. As you can see right here, the rush almost got to Crouch again. It was a bad snap and you just see Crouch throw it up. And the Mexican defense does not allow the U.S. women to get behind them. Great play. All right, so first full drive with this Mexican offense here for Deanna Flores. Let's see what she's got. Again, on the money with that ball placement, as you mentioned, that mm. one is complete to number four. That's Monica Ronell. Well, that, that, we call that a dig route in the National Football League, and I haven't seen a quarterback put it in a better spot than Flores right now. I mean, again, puts it right where you catch it and can run. Catch and run. Catch and run. That's what this game's all about. But great eyes. She moved the defense looking to the right, saw her receiver coming to her view. 
Here's Flores, little pump fake, got it complete. And that's number four. Again, it's Ron Hell. Didn't have that flag pulled initially. And it's number 14, Mary Kate Biula, who finally pulls that flag and sets Mexico up with a new set of downs from the Team USA 15 yard line. Deanna, a, Flores, Deanna yeah. Flores, it doesn't look like she's ever rushed or anything. Like, she never seems very like true. she's in a panic mode. She's just operating and functioning this offense at a very high level. Shows like she's been playing for 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> also one of the IFAF athlete ambassadors here for these world games. And you see her smile, you'll know why. That talent, too. Is that a no? Is that a Patrick catch. Mahomes no look Listen, with the flag? And I'm, catch. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, off platform throws, putting it over the middle, only where your 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 receiver can go and get it and between multiple defenders. Come on now, with with the rush right here on her flag, throws a dime. Take another look. Look, she's facing the opposite end zone when she lets go of that ball. Yeah. Ron Hell is on the wrong side of a little additional contact there. 14 Mexico. Look at the throw. That's a jump pass. Look at the throw. I, mean, I used to play football in the street. We used to do you, know who, you know who made that famous in the National Football League? It was Patrick Mahomes. That's his favorite throw. Roll it to the Patrick right, Mahomes. throw it back to the left and puts it right in her receiver hands. All right, so we get a substitution for Ron Hell while they check on the nose there after the contact. Here's Flores. First and goal. Pump fake. Looking end zone. Cannot connect with number 10, Pamela Reyes. Still plenty of time here for Mexico to find Peter once again, though, as we are now under the 10-minute mark here in this first half. Under eight to go. Right, you were saying uh, for the last couple years, Team Mexico would meet once a month yeah. and practice together. They show it. They've got great yep. chemistry, great rhythm. They do. They meet once a month in Mexico City, whereas the American teams really only get together as a team in the days leading up to this competition. There's another touchdown. Another touchdown. Flores to Contreras. That is the connection that gets a lot of points yep. from this Mexican women's squad. Great job again. Contreras is the center. So it's very difficult to just line up over her and cover her one-on-one. -on -one. She breaks out, and look how she slides into the end zone while she's pulling her hips away. Blows oh, another kiss. Does it with That's the number two. Jeez. With grace. <laughs> just here with Sylvia. For everyone that wants to see this. Goes back, gets ready to snap it for the extra point. They're going to go for one to try to make it a 21-0 Team Mexico lead. Here's Flores again, pump faking, trying to get away from the rush. Does, eludes it, and into the end zone. Does she hang on? She does not. So that's incomplete. Number 85, Indra Montez, unable to hang on to that contested catch. And so, Team USA defense is something to build on maybe there with that extra point. Ayana paid great job of... Not, uh, not touching the receiver, but attacking the ball. And that's the reason why that pass wasn't completed. So Vanita Crouch in unfamiliar territory here, down 20 with just over six minutes to go in this World Games flag football women's gold medal matchup. She has never lost, as Stacey Dales told us at the Open here this broadcast in world competition for Team USA since becoming the starter. And of course, Team Mexico, trying to avenge that loss in the 2021 World Championship for Team USA. There you go, Vanita. That was a drop. Vanita looking for overstreet. But just take what the defense gives you. They say in the uh, old adage in the quarterback room, never go broke taking a profit. If a guy's open, I mean, if, if a receiver's open, just take what the defense gives you. It, puts, it gives the defense some anxiety, mm -hmm. and it sets you up for bigger plays later on. In the when game. we talk about adversity, right now, Team USA is in a little bit of quicksand. Yep. Right, it seems like they're trying to struggle to get out. You know how to get out of quicksand, right, Rep? Just stay there? Just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. Take your word for it. Here's Vanita Crouch. She does have a completion here. That's good to number two, Maria Gearhart, out of Orlando, Florida. And Gearhart will take that close to midfield. I'll tell you, Rebecca Landa, the rusher. She is a force. Sure. For the Mexican women's team, she is putting all types of pressure on Vanita Proud. 
Three-point stance on point. Crouch, quick roll out to the right, got it complete. That's number eight for the U.S. Nadia Bibbs with the reception to make it a fresh set of downs. And that is their first, first down. Let's head down to the field. Stacy Dale is there for us. Stacy. Yeah, hey guys. Well, just a quick reminder with this Mexico team, they, they've been training for this for three years, much different than the U.S. team in terms of the fact they come together this week. The Mexican players actually come together once a month for the past three years in Mexico City. They are ready for this moment. Yeah, it's a great point, Stacey. The chemistry that they're able, and again, as she mentioned, they've been together for three years. Now, the U.S. women may have a bit more experience in totality playing flag football, just not as much together. And again, that's where chemistry starts to set in and all of those types of things. You can obviously see this Mexican squad. They love each other. They have the chemistry. They're fighting for each other, and they play great defense. That's always a mark of a team. Timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. This is the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL. Back here in Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama, the women's gold medal game here in the inaugural appearance for flag football at the World Games. MJD taking a look here at one of the stars for Team Mexico, number three, Sylvia Contreras. Going both ways, Rhett. I only did that in high school. <laughs> Not at the World Stage. You didn't do it with a gold medal on the line? No, I, I don't know if I was good enough to do it with a gold medal on the line, but again, Team Mexico is ready and prepared for this moment. They need a crouch. Oh, oh, tip drill. Tipped twice by Team USA, and then into the hands of number 15, Ana Rojano, for Team Mexico's second Vanita Crouch interception of this game. Tips and overthrows. Got to get those. That's right. Great job by Rojano right there. Look at the concentration. One, One two. two. Right there for it. Takes oh the football goodness. out of the air. Big time play by this Mexican defense. And how about the, I mean, they are so tight. We saw when we were talking to them after their semifinal win, huge embrace between Flores and Contreras and Rojano. They are the so tight-knit. And, and there's Flores again. Look at the eyes right there. Flores with the great pass. Was that Rangel? That, that, Ron Hell, yes. Ron Hell, I'm sorry, that, that caught that pass. The eyes of Deanna Flores is moving the U.S. defense and creating holes right in the middle of this, of this defense. And Rhett, you were just talking about how we spoke to uh, Team Mexico yes. after their semifinal game, and they were excited for the opportunity. Yes. They weren't afraid of anything. They were ready to go, and they felt like they had a great opportunity, and they were one of the ambassadors saying that this should sure. be and will be an Olympic sport. No doubt, and, and they have the most gold medals of any women's team in, in terms of international play. They've Great got play. three, and there's Contreras. Look at her go up Great and bring play. that ball down. They brought a receiver back behind the lot, behind the quarterback to create almost a triangle yes. for the defense to have to defend. And then you have Contreras running across the field at a diagonal, diagonally. And Deanna Flores puts it right where she needs to put it. You see her reaching the ball out very aware. Contreras snap back goes to Flores. Low read option fake as Flores goes off to the right. Again, eluding the rush, gets it off, got it complete. She is so tough to defend. Are they saying her flag? Got no, I think they're saying it was incomplete. I think they're saying she dropped the pass. The receiver dropped the pass. But Deanna Flores is a handful to deal, deal with for the rushers of the U.S. women. And we're talking about look at the rush from Team Mexico and Different. how it's getting it's the crowd right away. Yeah. Yep. Right, and then Team USA is rushing from the side, and yep. it's giving Flores a little bit more time to be able to move. And then Flores is obviously much younger, but more active in the pocket, kind of like Boosh, uh, Doucette, who we saw earlier. Gold medal winner. That's right. <laughs> Team USA men defeated Team Italy. And here on a second down and goal, Flores in and out of the hands. Of the attended receiver, that's number 10, Pamela Reyes, unable to corral that one. That'll bring up a third down. It's be a great time for Team USA's defense to come alive. Again, they're a little shorthanded tonight, playing without Ashley Wizenot and also Michelle Roke, two stalwarts on defense, so they're having to kind of shuffle some players in and out. And Wizenot had a, a key interception in pool play that helped the women's uh, team advance.
think the so Mexican the, team they're using. Right, a they're going to use the time and strategy. Right. So again, the the clock, the game clock winds on the ready for play from the referee, and now Mexico is going to call a timeout once their play clock was going down. So with this timeout, we will take one as well. Final minute of the first half here at Legion Field in Birmingham, Mexico. They're going to put a few more points on the board. Already up twenty to nothing over Team USA. All right, this is the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL here at Legion Field in Birmingham. Team Mexico well represented in the stands. Team USA is as well, but the USA fans not a lot to cheer for. Their first four drives led by quarterback Vanita Crouch have resulted in intercept, two interceptions, a couple of sacks, a turnover on downs, and a safety. Nightmare scenario here with Deanna Flores leading this potent Mexican offense inside the 20. And she's got a complete wide open receiver, Monica Ronhell. And we're going to get a flag tacked on for illegal contact at the end. This is tremendous game play from Mexico. I mean, people are running open. This wide is not open. like, you, you know, uh, women are just going up, taking the ball out off the U.S. women's uh, defenders' uh, uh, hands. No, this is being schemed to be wide open. And then also you get that penalty, you get the, the, the contact part of it. You have to be able to control your body. You can't go in there and try to wrap the receiver up. You have to be able to go for the flag. You're going to get that extra flag. And again, as we saw in the men's game, that flag, those extra, those hidden yards uh, are, are what kind of is going to make the difference of USA trying to come back in this one. Referee Desiree Abrams signals the illegal contact, giving Team Mexico a first down inside the five in the no-run zone. Not like Team Mexico has had to do that much here. Here's Flores. So quick in the pocket. And a contested catch uh, by Contreras, unable to come up with it. So that'll bring up a second down. Haven't been many of those balls hitting the ground here no, for Team Mexico. It, it hasn't been, but it, it, uh, Contreras did a great job of running the back end zone. And if you can notice, she got in front of the defender to, to pretty much protect her quarterback mm -hmm. from throwing an interception. Second down for Flores, immediately rolling out to the right. Going to loft one in the back of the end zone for Monica Ronhell, and she comes up with it. Another six on the board for Team Mexico. Great job by Deanna Flores. Again, she's buying time. You cannot cover receivers forever, no. right? And the more time she's bought, the more time she's given her receivers to get wide of a big time play. With just six seconds on the clock, Mexico strikes again. Now looking to go for one. This is the point after here. Again, you can go for one point from the five, two points from the ten. Mexico and Flores backwards pass. That's number one, Shayla Silva. Back to Flores and no conversion. So it'll remain a 26 to nothing Mexico lead. Let's take a look at how this Mexico offense got on the board once again. Well, again, you see Flores kind of buying time, and then she sees her receiver running in the back of the end zone. That back end line is always dangerous yep. because defenders are so focused on the cheese, yep. the, 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 the stuff in front of them, that mm, you forget about that receiver in the back. Great throw, great play. And for Deanna Flores to be a, a shorter player, yes. to be able to have the wherewithal, first of all, but also have the vision to see her receiver in the back of the end zone, it's pretty phenomenal. And again, that's why this is a sport for everyone. Yep. Big, tall, large, small, old, young, everyone's <laughs> got a role in flag football. It's why it's so great. It's why there's such a push to make this an Olympic sport by both the NFL and the IFAF starting in the 2028 Olympic Games. I think there was a penalty on the last try. And now they get... The and it was a penalty, so a retry from the two and a half yard line, and that one goes in. It's Ron Hell who's been unstoppable along with Contreras. Did she say good play after that? Yes, yeah, she did. After she just beat her for a touchdown. Yeah, she did. And oh she, man, that back end line is undefeated. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I, I know. I know. You know, uh, one of our former colleagues, Deion Sanders, says he can cover everything. That back end line, tough. All right, final seconds here for Team USA. They do get out of bounds on that completion from Vanita Crouch, number 69, Crystal Daniels. So one more play as you can see the frustration on Crouch's face. Because the flag comes out. Delay a game. And it, 
They're going to take a five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Nothing going right for Team USA. Well, and, and delay of games come down to the quarterback. But, but it, I think the delay of game, it wasn't that. It was that they impeded the rush. Someone ran into the rusher as okay. they were trying to get to the uh, their All rush. And you can't, can't do, do that. that. Right of way, right of play. Look at Crouch, Crouch offset to the left, receiving that snap. Going to throw it back to Shanika Comis, who's got an arm and unleashes one downfield, but it's picked off. Who else? Ana Rojano with her second interception of the game. It was just a toss-up anyway with the clock running out. And how about this Team Mexico squad, both offensively and defensively on the scoreboard, 27 up. And this is the other part. We call it Madden math, so if you play the yeah. video game Madden. <laughs> Well, Team Mexico gets the ball at half. Correct. So now they're up another score because obviously you're assuming that when you get the ball, you're going to go down and score. What can Team USA do to try to stop this onslaught from Team Mexico? I mean, again, defense is playing well. Offense is on fire. What can you do to slow down Team Mexico? And to me, the U.S. girls, especially women, especially defensively, they have to get some pressure on Deanna Flores. She's back there all day. Those receivers are running all everywhere, getting open, and it's very difficult to cover receivers for, what, six, seven, eight seconds. Team Mexico up 27 to nothing. We're at the half of the women's gold medal game here at the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama. Back with second half action after this. Back here in the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL. Rhett Lewis, Michael Robinson, Maurice Jones-Drew, Stacey Dales down on the field here on NFL Network watching this women's gold medal game. Team USA in a very unfamiliar position. Shut out in the first half by a stifling Team Mexico defense. An explosive offense that has Team Mexico up 27 to nothing behind number 33, Deanna Flores at quarterback, Mike. Absolutely. They're taking the fight to the United States women. They're not scared. They're not intimidated by the record or anything. This Mexican team, they're fighting, and they're ready to go. And, and this defense has been suffocating on the American side. They need to find a way to get jo Joanne Overstreet the ball in space a little bit more so she can use her athletic ability to get the ball down through. She's also the deep threat for this team. Yes. We've seen that time and time again in these games and just have not seen Benita Crouch able to connect on a deep ball, except for the one that was called back by Crystal Daniels. Yeah. Hasn't been a great first half of the game for the U.S. women. But as MJD mission, mentioned at the end of the first half, it's Mexico up first with the ball here to start the second. And what do you know? Another completion. Deanna Flores got that complete. That's number 24, Andrea Delga uh, Delgadillo. You, you might as well start calling her Chef Lloyd. Chef, because she is out <laughs> she here. She's just cooking them up. She's huh? just cooking. I mean, it's unbelievable. I thought Steph Curry was nice. <laughs> no, sir. Give me a Deanna Flores jersey right now. 12-17, 128 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. And finally, the Team USA rush getting home. But if you notice, the American rushers are trying to affect the pass. They're putting their hands up. And oftentimes, when Flores pump fakes or does anything like that, they get lost. And you see the Mexican defenders, they're just going to the flag. And to me, that's what's creating some anxiety on the U.S. women's offense. Crystal Daniels has been the best player on the field for yes, Team USA is. today, yes, offensively and defensively. Need to get her the football on offense. Here's Flores, again buying time, again got it complete. It's Delgadillo, second reception on this drive, brings him closer to the first down. Again on this 50-yard field, four downs to get to midfield. The 25-yard line gives you a first down. Then you have four more to score. So this is a crucial play for Team USA. It's a fourth down here for Team Mexico chance to turn the tide here a bit oh but Flores going back to Delgadillo for the tough grab of MJD come up ball placement speed out I mean that, that is that is a, that is day one NFL install you run four steps and you break out right and the ball needs to be outside on the sideline away from the defender you saw the ball placement first down So, new set of downs just across midfield. Taking their time. Deanna Flores now. Snap goes back. Got it completed. Sylvia Contreras once again. And she's got about a six-yard grab there. Seven. Let's give her seven, and that'll go down to the 18-yard line. But what you said earlier, you said that this Mexican team, they practice once a month, which is... Yeah. 
pretty frequent when you talk about uh, flag football teams. You can see the chemistry with these mm -hmm. with these ladies. I mean, they know exactly where Deanna Flores is going to be looking when she's uh, when she's scrambling to one side. They've been well coached. Here's Flores again. These crossing routes too, and and, and it's Delgadillo on this drive, just carving up this Team USA defense methodically, working down the field. And essentially, they're checkdowns, right? You, you have a deeper, you have some deeper passes. You got to sit down in the middle, and then you have a crosser. And when Deanna Flores gets in some trouble, she hits the checkdown. Play clock winding. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. Flores, they're not in no rush. to take it down. <laughs> Three minutes gone in the second half. And we, let's see, we've got a couple of passes backwards there. That's number 10, Pamela Reyes Ooh. now with the ball and making some moves. She goes down inside the 10 before eventually having that flag pulled and the flag comes out from the official. I don't think we're gonna get some extra yardage tacked on here. And and moved out. But who do you call that? What, was, was the defender there? <laughs> Or, you know, was well, the receiver I, running over the defender? Well, I think the, the, the offensive player moved out of the way. There's the signal of the illegal contact. And you're going to see it here right at the end as Flores with the backwards pass to Pamela Reyes. Look at Reyes. Look at the oh, gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turning it on. Now watch. She, oh, she slid. She, she slid did. out of the way. And then... So now we've got a first and goal inside the five in the no reds in the no run zone, which is inside the five yard line. Team USA on their heels here, down 27 nothing. Mexico threatening. Here's another backwards pass from Flores, and it's number one, Shayla Silva to three, Sylvia Contreras, and Team Mexico is. Off in a route here, 33 nothing. Yeah, when you look at Overstreet right there, she got to, when we say, you know, defensive backs, you got to keep your eye on your, on your luggage. She covered Contreras at first, and then it was the next move. It was the second move after the initial play. There's that kiss again. It was the second move that got Contreras open. Team Mexico opting to go for one here. I'd love to get down to Stacey Dales here uh, in just a moment if we can, just to kind of get a sense of what the Americans are dealing with in such unfamiliar territory on the world stage. Again, undefeated with Vanita Crouch at quarterback since 2018 as Team Mexico looks for the extra point here. All kinds of time. And it's going to fall incomplete. Stacy. if you're there with us, what are, you, what are you seeing down there? Well, the body language, right? We saw it in the semifinal game. I mean, they didn't have an easy game, the U.S. team, to advance to this game. And they've really, well, you, you talked about it. They've been under manned in terms of the injuries and they've had to adjust defensively. But the body language is down. They need a spark. This Mexican team, though, the chemistry, guys, is just off the charts. Came in ranked number two in the world. Thanks very much there, Stacy. And uh, they are proving a change at the top yeah. of these world rankings by the end of this evening as Vanita Crouch sidearms that one to Joe Overstreet and out it's out of bounds. I mean, what? I mean, I, it just, it's like the, you know, when it rains it pours, yep. things just snowballing for Team USA. And that's one of those things. This is the biggest game in flag football, yeah. right? And it looks like a little bit of the pressure is getting to the American women, but we cannot overstate, we cannot understate the effort that the Mexican team is putting on. They're not, they're not just, you know, there's not mistakes happening. They're going out there and they're beating the U.S. women's team right now. And in the NFL, you know, we talk about any given Sunday, any team can win, right? As that ball sails incomplete and over the head of the intended U.S. receiver from Benita Crouch. We talk about any given Sunday, but again, this is another reason why flag football belongs in the Olympics. The unpredictability, no question. right? Team Mexico coming in. Look, they, we know they were a dominant team coming in with the point differential and all of that, but this is the number one team in the land. This is the best quarterback in women's flag football history. They're being shut out right now. Wow. Here's Vanita Crouch, third down from her own five. And she can swing it, though. Did she get her feet set, Mike? There you go. Just take what the defense gives you. Just take it. These small hitch routes, they're going to be there almost the rest of the game. 
And maybe later on you can get a double move and get an explosive well, play. Well, Mike, you have to understand this. There is no 33-point, 34-point play. So yeah, that's wait, true. Wait, 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 what? If you're Team Mexico, you're just like, hey, do what you got to do. But we're not Look giving at up the Look everybody on the same plane here for the Team Mexico defense. And they're catching. Yep. Oh, almost another pick for number 15, Ana Rojano. She has been all over the field on defense. Absolute star of the game for the defensive side, along with the rusher, Rebecca Londa. I mean, we talked about it. Again, you know, watching the semifinal game and watching the way they were communicating and, and, and kind of sliding in the coverage, as we just saw there, I mean, this Mexican defense has been on fire this whole uh, game, the whole world game. So it's not, it's not by chance that they're doing it here in the championship game. Yeah, no question. And we, look, we talk about, a lot about uh, the, the chemistry with Team Mexico, the meetings that they're able to have during the year. Not every country can do that at this point. But if this, if flag football gets sanctioned as an Olympic sport, it opens up pathways for more go. funding that can allow more teams more time together to compete, to practice, to get that chemistry that we're seeing here from Team Mexico. And as you see, I mean, once a month, yeah. And we see how good Team Mexico is. Imagine if it's twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if it's, I don't know, every day. If they're financially day, supported yeah, if to that point. To be I mean, able to do that, I mean, my goodness. It just it would allow for the ultimate Olympic dream for participants worldwide. And, and that's the growth. That's the love of football that we want to see. It sure is, right? And you look at the, the girl's flag, a woman's flag being... Having a huge boost over the last No year. question. The United States and worldwide, really, especially on the yeah. youth side, too. Yes. I mean, Sylvia Contreras, we, we were talking, and Stacey Dale's asked a great question, uh, you know, to Sylvia after the semifinal win over Austria. It's like, why, why, why flag in the Olympics? It's a sport for everyone. There it is. It's inclusive, it's affordable. It just makes sense. And so. She we'll also, see. She also talked about just how much fun they have playing the game, being around each other, team sports. I feel like every human being should be a part of team sports in some way, shape, or fashion. I and mean, when you talk inclusive, you're talking age, yep. yeah. right? 40 yeah. to 18. Well, and they talked about the quarterbacks, 41-year-old Benita Crouch and the throw what from the 24-year-old. She's been doing yeah, this. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Are you and, shocked? And I mean, for more on this Mexican superstar at quarterback, let's go down to the field here as we watch this replay from Deanna Flores. Stacey Dales, she is a superstar. She is a superstar. I think it's important to point out when we met these young ladies – uh, as, as we prepared for this special game, I mean, they were all struck by Mike Rob, right? That's right. He had an, a full onslaught of Seahawks Instagram fans. followers from uh, Ms. Flores and company. So yeah. the point being, they love the NFL guys and uh, they study the NFL and this should be a global sport. Absolutely. Inter international series back at uh, Stadio Azteca, Mexico City this year in the NFL. Oh, oh look at goodness. the throw. The back of the end zone, the grab. It's number 24, Andrea Delgadillo from Flores. Absolutely unstoppable. I wish you could see my face right Because <laughs> it's just like, there's no shock in this. This is what it is. I'm going to roll out to the right as the pressure's coming. I'm going to roll into the pressure and then drop a dime as I'm on the run. Usually that throw goes out of bounds. No yeah. question. Yes, Usually that throw goes with the momentum of the thrower. Deanna Flores was able to be pinpoint accurate while she was on the run. Another great point, and both of you have been talking about the end zones and that back line being undefeated. In different flag competitions around the world, there are different rules, different field configurations. Clearly, Team Mexico taking advantage of the 10-yard end zone, which not every team sees on a consistent basis. Oh, you're right, Rhett. Some, some end zones yeah. are only five yards. Yeah. Some end zones are six or seven yards. So the extra, the extra yardage in the end zone is actually benefiting the quarterback who can put it in. Just might be looking at the future of women's football right here with this Team Mexico led by 24-year-old Diana Flores. And uh, Stacy, as someone who competed on the hardwood for the oh, Team yeah. Canada Olympic team back in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, I I'm guessing that you can see the pride that these Mexican women have in playing for their country on this stage. Well, there's no question as we watch uh, Joe Overstreet try to make some ground here. There's no question. I mean, when you compete for your country, it's a different level. It's a different feel. Walking into the opening ceremonies is really the most galvanizing experience in the Sydney Olympics that I could describe from a global standpoint. And this is competitive. You know, we're seeing a struggling USA team. This is a team that's had great success, guys. It just shows the growth of the game. And by the way, the exponential growth of flag football is off 
the charts. And you're seeing a flavor of it right now. Imagine in 2028 in Los Angeles, yeah. how it grows from 2022 to then. It's just going to continue getting better and better and better. And these these players, Flores, yeah. guys, she's about 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, <laughs> she slings it 45, 50 yards easily. Players are going to get better and better. And again, funding is going to increase Correct. if we can get this thing into the Olympics. Yeah, and I think look, that's why the NFL sees the sport of flag football as being at the heart of the f- of football future, both in America and worldwide, as the Benita Crouch's pass goes incomplete in the end zone. But it, it really is. The NFL, the IFAF, the Inter- International Federation of American Football are partnering to really drive the goal of flag becoming that sanctioned Olympic sport, starting with the 2028 Summer Games in Los Angeles. And these World Games are a really important step towards that vision. And, and look, by, by the way, if you're a, if you're a girl out there at home watching this game, if you're a guy out yep. there watching Hoosh Doucette earlier in this game, you want to be like these these athletes, these world class athletes. You have that opportunity. There are fla- opportunities to play flag football all over. Go to NFLflag.com and you can find a way to get involved in flag and sign up in a community near you. Well, Red, I- I've spoken to some NFL guys. Okay. Yeah. And they're looking at, what well, I can get a chance to win a gold medal. There's a possibility of that. And I, I think you're going to get some guys, whether former or, or current NFL guys, they're going to be a part of something like this. This is fun. It's for everybody. And for me, I've, I've, been, I've been impressed by the passion, not just of the athletes, but the people in the stands. Yes. Right? We're, we come from the 11-on-11 yeah. tackle football world, and fans are crazy about it, and fans are just as crazy about flag football. It's been awesome to watch. Well, I think Stacy said it best. When you talk about you're representing your country, yeah, right? Some of the best of the best. We all want to do that. We all want to put uh, our flag on our back and represent uh, the USA. Oh, Ooh. deep pass. Which, you know, you look like you think that's a normal completion from Crouch to Comis in the back of the end zone. They are going to get the credit of a defensive pass interference here, though, as that ball was knocked out of Comis' hands. Yeah. Again, or at least a when you're playing penalty. against Team Mexico in flag football, you better bring your hard hat. Yes. Because they're not giving any easy catches up. All the catches that Team USA has had has been contested. I mean, they're on they're on each receiver. They're, I mean, whatever it is, look, you're going up. We're shit playing through. I'm playing through your hands. Yeah, she attacked the ball. But no contact. This is flag. So Correct. Get it. Major tenant of flag football, of course. No contact. And so here we go. Vanita Crouch, best opportunity they've really had here inside the 10. She takes the quick snap from under center, gets it complete. It's Crystal Daniels. Flag pulled just about a yard shy of the goal line. That'll be down at the one. So second. And goal from the one again inside the no run. Here zone. comes the here comes the play. Everyone runs up. One comes underneath. Oh, little, you flip little, it. Little, little inside flip shovel it. here. Yeah, Let's see where it goes. It. Look at everybody bunched up here. Everybody knows what's going on. Oh, oh nice. That's it a, went that's over a, their head. That's a little Tim Tebow esque. Yeah. Tim yeah. Tebow-esque. I like it. Come on, Andy Reid. Have Andy Reid somewhere down there. So yeah, well, he's, he's definitely right. Andy Reid's definitely watching this right now, <laughs> taking notes. Like, okay, I see this. Have mm-hmm. someone sneak out, and they tried to go for that underneath, you know, shovel pass, and Crouch did a great job of finding. Wow. Number eight, Nadia Bibbs, with her Nadia. first touchdown of these World Games, and prevents a shutout for Team USA. Gets them on the board here. They're going to go for two. Why not? Two points from the ten. One point from the five. Still U.S. opting for the two. Under four minutes to play in this gold medal game. Mexico can taste it. Crouch way overthrown. Nobody home. And Team USA remains just a bit out of sorts here all over the field. You know, as head coach it's, Chris Langford, I mean, if you're a coach here on the side, like, what can you do? You know, everything's going wrong. You're, you're a coach. <laughs> you can't do anything. Did you hear what him say? I'm just being honest. You can do nothing. Yes. You're going to sit there and you're going to coach. But this is the thing. It's, it's not as if... Team USA is just not clicking. Yep. They're, they're, they're being forced not to click. Right. It's going to be on both, on both sides. Yeah. Deanna Flores winding that play clock. 5-4. Takes the snap. Dot. Got it complete. Monica Ronhell. Dot. Who's I mean, closing right, in right on, on 10 receptions here this evening. Dot. Right on target. I mean, just 
It's, it's like playing target practice. Choo, choo, choo. I mean, she's the like, chef, how do you want it? Yeah. You, want this, you, want it, you want it grilled, <laughs> baked, huh? fried? How do you want this? I've been so impressed just by the, 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 the chemistry that this Mexican team has had. I mean, the camaraderie, every Look single the time. smile. Yeah, every single time that they go to the sideline, they huddle up, they're smiling, they're, you know, you know encouraging one another. That's what team sports is all about. Flores, again, buying time back there in the pocket. That pass, though, falls incomplete. With that last connection to Ron Hell, Ron Hell is over 100 yards receiving in this game. Cooking. Wow, cooking. That's, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's really yards neat. in the gold medal game? Well, on a 50-yard field. On a 50-yard right? field. Yeah. All right, so third down here for this Team Mexico offense. It's in a little adversity. They won't take it to two minutes. And there it is. That's and the two minutes. So the ball is ready for play. Referee winds the clock. That's how the timing operates under two minutes. Are you, do you hear it? The Mexican flags are coming it's out. Coming out. Can yeah. you, hear you can start to see it. You can see the men's team, <laughs> who, by the way, won bronze earlier th this evening. And because it's a 30-point lead, we're actually not even going to have a, a, any traditional stoppages under two minutes until the clock will run for the remainder of the half. But it does look like we have a stoppage here. What do they call it timeout? Oh, timeout. timeout. Yeah. So we have a timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. Come back with the conclusion of this women's gold medal game, the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL. Back here at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama, the World Games Flag Football Championships presented by the NFL here on NFL Network. An absolute route from Team Mexico. Up 39 to six on Team USA, 135 to go. And man, are the Mexican fans here in the stands loving this performance from Diana Flores, from Silvia Contreras, defensively from Ana Rojano and Rebecca Landa all over the place. Team Mexico is dominating. Dominating is an understatement. <laughs> I mean, they are, they're ready to go. But they've go. done on this stage the entire way. This is a juggernaut. Came in outscoring their opponents. Over 200 points scored, just 32 allowed. They have never trailed in these world games. What an Not once, not for one second. What an accomplishment. What? I mean, you come out here and you dominate the world games. When flag football, the first time being here, it's amazing to see. And, and, you, and you're doing it with the team. What they say, MJD, practice once a month. Yes. Right. Once a month. The confidence, though, to come out here. This, this is the thing. I, and I, I want our, our viewers and everyone to watch this. Do you know how tough it is to play defense <laughs> in flag football? I mean, we the, the men's championship game was, what, 46 to 36? Yes. Okay, this, this is a, a regular... NFL score. Yes. <laughs> like it took Team USA all the way to the end of the pretty much the end of the game yes. to try to put points on the board. So I mean this defense and the way they, they, they work with the offense, the complimentary uh flag football that they're playing, I and mean, they're gonna be tough to beat for a long time. Clock is running. This is a fourth down. So with the way the play clock and game clock are synced, Mexico's gonna have to do something here. They just took a delay of game. But it looks like Team USA will at least have one play. Depending on what happens. Oh, well, they're going to take the penalty. And because of, of the rules. Yeah, the clock doesn't stop. You keep taking the penalty. Clock's going to roll once again here in a moment. Mexico has kept five of their six opponents in these World Games under 10 points, including Team USA. Six seconds to go. See if the referee gives the ready for play. She does. The clock is going to roll, but it is not. There it goes. <laughs> there you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Team Mexico is golden at the World Games. Look at that joy. And I know the Mexican team won, the U.S. team lost, but this has been a, this has been indicative of the body language the entire game. The Mexican group came out, they were fired up, they knew they had a game to play, and they and they matched the energy, and they were ready to play. The U.S. women, 
they they seem to kind of be in what you say MJD in quicksand yeah. for most of the game and they were always playing catch up wow what a game no catching up to Deanna Flores no. and Sylvia Contreras and Monica Rangel leading the offensive charge for Team Mexico as they've done for much of these world games. That trio on offense, Ana Rojano, Rebecca Londa, Pamela Reyes, so many contributors for this Mexico squad. And I think right there, number 33 on your screen with that smile and that sidearm throw, yep. that's the future of flag football on the women's side. Ana Flores. Ambassador. Yes. Black football at the World Games. And, and one of the best quarterbacks. And for in Benita the world. Crouch. Yeah. What's next? Oh, that's the first tough loss one. as the starting quarterback. You gotta come back on the hey. world stage. Didn't Tom come back? <laughs> she did, did talk about that. She talked really about right. Tom Brady and and, and, and and the comparison of her career and his career and Tom didn't win last year and he retired. Yeah. And, and then he, he was at home a for a little later. bit and then he said, I want to come back. So I want another one because you don't want to end that way. And I think regardless of what we see, you see the competitive spirit of all these ladies out here, the way they're playing, uh, the way Team USA was trying to battle back, the way Team Mexico did, the way they were competing. That competitive spirit is not going to allow you to kind of go and, and wither in defeat. You're going to have to find a way to bounce back. And I guarantee you Team USA comes back with a vengeance. Mexican defense comes up with three interceptions one of them returned for the game's opening score right in the pick six a pair of sacks both by Lamba and the safety that's as dominant as defensive performance as these four games defense wins championships did when, when you look at uh the way the Mexican defense played they were prepared to it wasn't like yeah. they just went out here and this was a, a super genetically dominant team where they're just faster than everybody they were prepared they knew exactly what the U.S. team was going to do and they played like it. It's kind of like when you guys beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Oh, hey! What really, was the score? 43-8? Hey! I'm just saying. Oh, man. I mean, it just seemed like you couldn't do much if you were a Broncos fan. Hey, I don't man. know. Hey, man. I mean, no doubt. High scoring offense I and mean, all of it. Yeah. But your point, it's not just show up and play. No. It's, it's pre-snap strategy. It's post-snap adjustments, both of the men's and women's side. And it's why this game belongs in the Olympics. Back to wrap up this Team Mexico win in the women's gold medal game here at the World Games right after this.